You know some of the nails still attached, yes. right? Yes. But you're not sure what the heck to do. Yeah. Whether the nail is going to grow back the same afterwards. So what exactly happened? I don't remember if something fell on my nail, if I stubbed my toe somewhere. I don't remember. I just realized it was bruised because it was like purple. Mm -hmm. And then the purple color went away and then I noticed that it was starting to lift from the corner. It is starting to really lift. Yeah. Um, any pain in the nail? No. That's really good. So what have you, what was going through your mind when you saw this? Oh, I called right away. I, like, I have to go and save the toe, bro. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, I mean. It was like in the evening. It's like, oh my God. So yeah, I called him in an appointment right away. Cause wow. it's like, I need to take care of this uh, before, you know. Yeah, th this is again, like I said, the reason why I'm gonna film this is this is like the most common injury that happens to toes where we bang the toe or Sometimes it could be from tight shoes, too much walking, too much pressure. Mm. Somehow you got a bruise or dry blood underneath the toenail. But that's why it looked purple and blue. Okay. Now what happens, sometimes that blood or bruise goes away, but now the nail has become lifted. So it's a traumatized, lifted toenail. Mm. Now your new nail will grow back. Nothing has been done to permanently stop the nail from growing back. That's not the problem. Okay. The issue is we have this old, lifted, dry nail yeah. in a raised position, and we have the new toenail that's growing in underneath. For sure there's a new one? There's a new one, okay. okay. So there's really two things that people can do when they have something like this. One, the easiest way is really just to leave it because what happens, I know it looks kind of scary, but as the new toenail is growing in, this damaged lifted nail will grow out. So you're basically just trimming it. But as you'll notice, as that lifted portion gets to the very end, when you start cutting it, it'll just break off, come off. So some people, again, with time, just let it grow out, keep trimming it, and then just let it just grow out all the way on its own. But the issue with that, as you can, as you said, half of your nails attached on this side and this side's completely lifted what could happen is because it is lifted it catches on something it rips off and now you have a nice painful toenail you ripped off the attached part it'll be bleeding all over the place mm. not fun so normally i tell people the safest thing to do is just to trim off this dead lifted nail this is not a surgery okay. because think of it just like you see how we have that white line yeah where the nail has grown long is not attached to the nail bed mm -hmm. that's exactly what's happened here this nail is completely detached and lifted so we can literally trim that all off it won't hurt and then and we'll see the new nail that's growing underneath okay. now because this side is attached we can't trim that off so you'll be trimming the nail pretty much just this portion over here as the new nail starts to grow in and in six to twelve months that's how long it takes for a new toenail to grow that new nail will reach the very end and you'll have a brand new full toenail a whole year? Oh, oh, possibly oh, a whole year. Okay. Yeah. Now the issue with trauma, okay, this is the one thing we always have to be aware about. Trauma can change a way a nail grows. And the biggest change, it makes the nail grow thick. So this new toenail that grows in could be a little bit thicker and that sometimes happens when the nail gets traumatized. These nails are nice and flat, but we can see the pinky one. So the reason this looks darker mm -hmm. not because of the nail fungus nothing like that it's because this nail has been probably pushed or pressured more in footwear yeah causing small micro trauma and over years it has grown thick right. when we have too much pressure on hard skin uh, on skin we get hard skin we get callus too much pressure on a nail we get a thick toenail so that's literally what's happening here now that could always have ha could be happening on this one so if you see your new nail being a little bit thicker it's unfortunately it just got traumatized but the nail's fine Okay. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to raise you up. I'm going to trim off all that lifted portion. This does not hurt. Okay. We'll buff it nice and smooth so there's no rough edges and then you, you play the waiting game. Okay. Okay. So um, at what point can I do a pedicure? I, was about, I knew you were going to say that. You want to it's paint it up. It's going to be the summer. I always do my nails in the summer. Then you can do it because again, you'll be, we'll see what's underneath. There's, we'll see either, you know, an empty space or we'll see a new nail coming in. You could still paint the nail polish right on top of it. Okay. There's going to be no open wound. Everything looks very dry to me. So if you just want to cover it up and paint it, you definitely can. Okay. I don't know when 
pedicure places are ever going to open again. I know. Trust me, I have my own right next door that I open. Really? Yes. I'll come to you then. So when, <laughs> when everyone's open, we'll be open right next door. Okay. So we're okay. doing medical pedicures, we're doing manicures. Uh, and I'm pre-diabetic, so I worry about my toes as well. I mean, I want to make sure that where I go, you know. Your feet are doing really well, honestly. Like, the nails are great. You don't really have hard skin at all. Just dry, but the nails really are fine. So we can clean this up, and then we'll see how that looks afterwards, okay? okay? Yeah. Cold patch that they put out, cold spray before you come. No, no. Oh, you, you, you went. You I just, went hardcore. Oh. Yeah, go for it. You're hardcore. No, I, I'm going to baby myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to numb my foot. If I get a tattoo, so nothing. <laughs> um, we're gonna just trim just the lifted portion of the nail. So okay. you just take it easy, you relax, nothing should okay. hurt. And we're gonna go on. little by little. Okay. I noticed too that my skin is starting to stick to the nail on the top. Where? Of the big toenails. When I cut, I noticed that the skin is uh, like. On this one or yeah, all of them? Okay. Bo both of the both big toenails like skin on the side on the top like here yeah like oh i can see what you're yeah. talking about yes sometimes you know we just get the nail bed that just grows more and more attached to the nail itself and it's annoying because you can cut yourself really easily right mm -hmm. so we're just starting at the widest part that's really chipped off no pain? No. Nope. Just looks freaky. Well, I'm not even looking. <laughs> and, oh, if you are, you're going to see your new nail that's already oh, underneath. Wow. You okay? Yep. Yeah. You're peeking again? <laughs> the look, no look. That's, that's the move. Yeah, yeah. Now, when it was really bruised, was that was it painful at that time? No, not at all. No. No, oh, that's good. Now, sometimes people come in when it has still that bruise and the toe is very painful. And so sometimes we actually have to poke a hole to release some of that pressure. No, it wasn't painful at all. Well, you're doing awesome. I don't feel a thing, so I feel great. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit. Okay. Like, not pain, but I I can feel the, you know, the... The nail nipper? ...the instrument you're using on my toe. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look nice at all. For now, we're gonna make it look really good afterwards. We're gonna buff down the little edges that are kind of lifted. I just wanted to use a nail nipper to get the most of the stuff off. So you have your brand, the whole nail is right underneath. Okay. So it looks like just a layer of the nail really just popped off. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna buff it there. So you're already like halfway of a new nail. So I'm gonna trim the nail a little bit shorter. Again, anything that's lifted should come off. That way nothing can get caught and rip off the part of the nail that is fully attached. Little by little here. I know it's slightly attached here. You okay? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty impressed you called in right away. <laughs> oh yeah, like I was not wasting any time. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I made the appointment online. It's like, yes, I need to come and get this done ASAP. <laughs> you booked it online? Yeah. Oh wow, you are good. <laughs> Miss Technology, Miss Tattoos, you are, you are hip. You gotta teach me a few things. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use a file that has water, mm -hmm. an electric file, so there's no heat. If anything's a little sensitive, you just let me know. I'm just going to really buff down any of those little edges, so now it's more of a smoother feel okay. to it. Mm -hmm. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> wow. Maybe I'll put a, a big band-aid around it so I don't have to see it. No, we're going to make it look the best we can after. You'll be okay. So, a little bit cool water. And if anything's a little sensitive, just like before, you just tell me, okay? Okay. Nice. Good job.
See the water at least, you know, stops it from getting too hot, reduces that little sensitivity. Okay, over here, yeah. a little sensitive, right? Just a little. Yeah, that's the part that's kind of attached and a little thin, but I just want to get this front part off. But no nail surgery today, you saved yourself. Were you thinking we are going to have to remove it? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, oh, it looks so awful. It has to come out. But I thought, well, it can't all come off because it's so stuck. Okay, almost done. You can see it's one, it looks more like one solid piece now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Anything that had a little edge or was a little bit lifted, I tried to take down as much as we could. You can see the new nail has grown up for sure halfway. Mm -hmm. This is the part that really got damaged and lifted. Now, here there's really no nail. That's actually the nail bed, but I filed it so thin you can't really tell the difference. Here is where the nail was still attached. So as this nail grows out, you'll start to see that kind of white line again. Mm -hmm. You just trim across. That's all you got to do. Okay. And you won't actually feel nail on this side until this halfway point reaches there. So half of the nail, you're looking at four to six months to get to that point. Okay. Okay. Looks better? It does. Yes, for sure. Good. Good. So that's all it was. Okay.